Electrical blocks for bus wires and dropper wires? Let's have a look. Roll the intros. Hey guys and welcome back to Chelmsford Junction, I'm Peter. Now tonight we are, well today I'm going to show you how I use the blocks that I get from Amazon for my bus wires. Now as you can see this one here is already installed. There's your bus wire, red positive and black negative. Now the red goes into the top section and the black also goes into the top section. Now, to go from this block to the next one along, again, goes into the top. I'll explain how it works. What I do is the red wire comes along and goes into pin 10 at the top. The black wire comes along and goes into pin 5, which is the black one, on the top one. Now, to go from this one to the next one, I put the red into top pin 6 and the black will go into top pin one. Now, the good thing about these blocks is you can have one on its own for doing one block section, which as you can see, there's all my dropper wires, they go into the bottom. One set of dropper wires, so the furthest one back will go into black one and red six on the bottom. The next set would obviously go into black two and red seven. Now, what I'm going to show you today is with um, things like DCC Concepts is cobalt point motors, you can have a power source for them straight from your bus wire. So instead of cramming a set of point wires into this block, I'm going to show you how I'm going to get around the situation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Pin 6 of the red one on the top of the secondary one and pin 1, which is black one. Now, obviously, I'm already using pin 1, pin 5, pin 6 and pin 10. Now, what I intend to do is I'm going into pin number 2 on the black and also pin number seven on the red because the six is already in use. Now, there's my wires, there's my wires. <clears throat> now, I'm just gonna poke this one through. Excuse me a second, guys, while I just do this very, very quickly. And where's the cutters gone? Right beside me. All unprepared. And as you know, guys, I don't do editing on my videos. It's always how you see it. So if I make a mistake, you've got it on camera. So just getting the wire ready now. It's probably a little bit too big to go into it, the wire, but it will slot round. So I'm putting it over the top of the dropper wires, slotting it into where it goes in come on in you get they never go in first time on camera sod's law there we go now that's in pin number seven let's tighten that up nope it hasn't even gone in so there's the mistake didn't even make sure it was already in so let's make sure it goes in this time come on you little devil it's red, so I can call it the Red Devil. That looks like it's in this time. Or is it? I think it is. Let's just try it. Hope and pray. Nope, and it's still missed. <clears throat> See, guys, no editing on my video. You get the full action as it goes. Right, now, that looks like it's in this time. So the plate's moving.
No, it's still not gone in. It's been a bit of a pig tonight for me. Let's not take it right out. Come on, in you get. In your home. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Make sure the wires are okay. Yep, the wires are fine. See, because it's a confined space, it's always best to try and do this before you set out in gold what you're going to do with your system. I think that's in this time. What do you think? Yep, yeah, that one's in. So, obviously, you've already put it through the cable tidy bit. So, just put it through. And then, just measure it up. Just a little bit. Let's get the scissors. Stip it to the desired length. Quickly braid the wire. Sorry for the silence, guys. I could have put some background music on, but that's not very good because you can always get done for copyright. So just be careful what music you do use, guys. Because I did have one of my videos have a problem during the week and I've now sorted it. So there you go. That's now got into pin six on the red one. He hopes. Make sure. Yep. Yeah. And then what I usually tend to do is I usually tuck it behind the tab bit there. Get the red wire there. Put it down a little bit. Tuck it over the black one. So it's nice and neat and out of the way. And then you just do the same again with the black. Just find the end of this one. <clears throat> Hopefully this one goes in a little bit easier. Grab a screwdriver, give it a little bit of a bend to help you. And make sure you're going into the right hole. Like so, come on, little down in you get. When I put my wires in, I usually try and go to the right hand side of the screw. So that when you do screw it up, it tries to pull the it pulls the cable that you put in there round the screw a little bit. Yeah, so that's it. Now, as obviously I'm doing it on camera, I've done it a little slightly wrong. I usually put it through the cable tidy first, but let's put it through there now. Let's try and find your route. Come on, mate. This way. Come down this way for me. There we go. There you are. Come on, down you come. Just put it through, which I've usually already done beforehand. Like I say, guys, there's no editing on my videos. You get it how you see it, and then just put it around the back, measure it up, cut the excess off. Just to the side for you, and then pre prep the wire. Slot it into, num into pin number one, which is the black side. Screw it back up, and there you have it. So you've now got. This block connected to this block only. And now this block is ready for any DCC concepts, coal boat, point motors. Once you're finished, make sure to put your front plates on. As they're numbered 1 to 10, so you make sure they're around the right way. And it also keeps things nice and tidy. So there you go, guys. That's my way of putting... The bus wires in for the droppers from your track and also a secondary block ready for cobalt point motor power supply hope this video has been a help guys thanks for watching the video guys hope it's been a help 
If you aren't a subscriber, click the link at the bottom right here to become a subscriber. And if you want to carry on watching more films from more films from this channel, then there should be a clickable video here and here. Until the next time, guys, take care for now and bye-bye for now.